All right, so before we start today, I want to give a warning. It is very windy outside right now. So windy, in fact, that my microphone might be able to pick all the things blowing around out there. So if you hear a tree fly through my window, I'm sorry. But today's question, why did Ahsoka leave the Jedi Order? Now, you should know the answer to this if you've watched The Clone Wars. But if you're like me and you're getting ready for the final season, this is a good time for a refresher because Ahsoka returning is a large part of the upcoming season. So why did she leave exactly? What drove her to exit the Jedi Order? Well, we get this answer from the final three episodes of Clone Wars Season 5. The episodes are titled The Jedi Who Knew Too Much, To Catch a Jedi, and The Wrong Jedi. Now, if you haven't watched The Clone Wars, you might be able to guess the plot by just the titles alone, but for those who need a summary, or for those who don't care to go and rewatch it, or watch it for the first time, there had been a terrorist attack on the Jedi Temple. Numerous clones and Jedi were killed in the blast, and at the time, the known bomber was one Leta Termond, or Thurmond, or who knows. Now, it should be mentioned that for the vast majority of the arc, Ahsoka is the main point of view, so we follow her as she goes to meet with the bomber, who requested that, should she need help, do so with Ahsoka. Now as the plot progresses, we learn that the bombings were in fact actually carried out by a Jedi, with Termin being the Fall Guy, or Fall Gal, and when Leta goes to reveal the name of the Jedi who is responsible, she is force choked and dies. This leads to Ahsoka being accused of killing her, which leads to her arrest and subsequent escape. Now with Ahsoka on the run, it was very easy for the Jedi Order to believe she did the deed, though it should be noted that her master, Anakin Skywalker, was the only one that believed she was innocent. Everyone else, Plo Koon and Obi-Wan included, believed she was a murderer, though when you look at her master, it isn't too far-fetched to get the idea that she might have taken after him. Anakin isn't the most orthodox Jedi, I'd say. I think we all know that. And he has done drastic things in drastic times, especially when those he cares about are in danger or are hurt. It's very easy to look at this, the bombings in Ahsoka, and go, God damn it, Anakin. <laughs> Though as time would tell, Ahsoka was innocent. And the real mastermind behind everything was one Barris Ophi, someone who has had a close history with Ahsoka in the past. Having followed the plan laid out by Barris, Ahsoka was captured and blamed for the murder of Termond and the bomb plot against the Jedi Temple. She was placed on trial for her actions and was found guilty by the Jedi Council and was expelled from the Order. Now it isn't until after that we discover that Barris had set her up and we learn this after Anakin, who provoked the Padawan into action, discovers the true mastermind. Barris would then admit to her crime, stating how she believed that the Jedi had become corrupt, that they were losing sight of their original vision, that they were responsible for the Clone Wars, and that the Republic will soon fall because of them. I did it because I have come to realize what many people in the Republic have come to realize, that the Jedi are the ones responsible for this war, that we've so lost our way that we have become villains in this conflict, that we are the ones that should be put on trial, all of us. And my attack on the temple was an attack on what the Jedi have become, an army fighting for the dark side, fallen from the light that we once held so dear. This Republic is failing. It's only a matter of time. She wanted to send a message to the Jedi, and she did, though it cost her a friend, who she voluntarily put the blame on, to save herself. As for Ahsoka, she was cleared of all charges and was offered her spot back in the Order, but she declined. Ahsoka, having been accused and convicted by some of her closest friends and allies, she felt betrayed by the Jedi Order. And the events that happened shook Ahsoka's faith in the Order, prompting her to leave even as her master pleaded with her to stay. No doubt that the departure of his Padawan would shake the faith of the only person who believed in her, which would further cement the events that would follow in Episode 3. So there you have it. Betrayed, expelled, and falsely accused, Ahsoka left the Jedi Order. 
Hopefully that answers or refreshes your mind on the events, but if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns regarding this video, Star Wars, or its lore, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.